things I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits by breaking the cycle and changing the trajectory of your family tree so that you become the type of man your son would want to become and the type of man your daughter would one day want to marry. These are the types of conversations you should be having with your kids so they can learn to think for themselves and are not afraid to be themselves so when they eventually are confronted with these life situations, they are not in shock and have an idea on how to approach it. You memorize that whole thing? Bullshit. Sometimes I need to have a teleprompter somewhere, or a little note, a little sticky note with a battle right, box. Let's keep you must going. have a teleprompter somewhere. Oh. Whoopsie. What do you got the BB guns around for? Yeah. Um. Or a teleprompter. So this episode, which episode? Because you guys were mumbling. Twenty nine. What? Twenty eight. And by the way, that's our 30. main mic and our second mic. So. Oh we have, we, can. we have two mics. We got to make sure it's all. We got the podcast right mic and then the. Mic. Two mics and two mics. All right, so this episode what? Twenty nine thirty. And guess what? I we I just like you always show up with your segment of your. Oh little, wait, can I say a joke? Your little jokes. I got my my segments. Not even supposed to be a joke, but it's nosebleeds. it's more of a joke than yours probably. Wait till you hear this one. All right, can I just say another one. hit from the nosebleed another section hit from the today? Nosebleed section today. All right. That's where we go through. Our Instagram comments, and we talk about the haters. We talk about the comment. We give a shout out to the bright individual that left a comment, and then we discuss it as a freak family. Because, like she said, these are the type of discussions you should be having, and we're gonna have about those hater mother effers out there. Remember Amda or Odma? Yeah, I don't remember the name. Something and I was trying to log in on here to Adama. Instagram, and I couldn't log into another account on Instagram because then we can't see the comments. The comments as they're going. That's why. Okay. So, can I say a joke? Yes. Okay, can I say one? Okay, let's do this. Mm, which one? Okay. What does a claustrophobic astronaut it's need? Not claustrophobic. Claustrophobic? Claustrophobic. claustrophobic. Right, so hold on. Last, don't forget, last week I got every single one. joke one. right. You got more. Right away, with zero countdown even starting, so I got bonus points. So, what is it? What is a class? Claust claustrophobic. Claustrophobic, claustrophobic astronaut need. H2, zero gravity, water upside down, floating, flying. Two. It's gravity, zero, zero mass, anything? See, this is bullshit, because I got because I killed it last week. You probably made some ridiculous. No, Alright, let's give it a hit. No, hold on. You didn't even say it clear. You mumbled the question. You gotta say the question again. Mm. What was the question? What, what does, does a claustrophobic... See, I can't hear... It's I'll like a stereo I'll effect. Say, what does a claustrophobic... Why are you going like this to me? What does a claustrophobic you're an astronaut... Orchestra. See, that's very distracting. I can't even hear when you're doing this in my face. What does a claustrophobic astronaut need? They don't want it. They need it. Restart the time. Yeah. Space. Outer space. Oh, space. Ding, ding, ding. Space. It, but that, that's only one point. Why? Because I was already at seven seconds. But you didn't say it clearly. All right, I'll take one point. So one point, one out of one. one. That was, was pretty easy once I thought about it. You guys want a back to back or something? No, no, let's, let's keep moving on. Like so so your, your big task of the day was preparing for today's show. You guys always come up with the topics and usually I don't know them. I came up with some of my own stuff for us to dig into and this is gonna be a quick show because this one still has to get a workout in today, right? Before you go to tennis. Yep. And you gotta do some other shit before you go to tennis or else what happens? I don't go to tennis. Damn That's classified. right. So it's 221, we gotta get rolling. So what are we gonna be talking about today? Any, any good topics or don't forget, I have it. It came from the nosebleed section. We were, we're going to spend a good amount of time on that one. I wanted to be logged into here so I could tag. I bet you I can figure it out. Loot. 
I'm it the won't. tech man. You just hit reload. No. Reload. No. No. Logging on another safe. account that it, the password didn't work. She had to go and verify the password. Like, because I have the L LTD account. You can't log in your own account. You can't see yourself live then. Sometimes why? If I was on there, how much? How would I see my live video on my own account? They don't let you see your own live video. It doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? You can't watch your own live video because they're assuming you're on it. So how can you watch it? So if you log in another account, you can't watch it. So we're going to talk about, first we're going to be talking about what? What did you come up with? Oh, are you unprepared? No. Oh, are you unprepared? No. We, Tessa, why don't you tell you me had, what you came up with? You had plenty of, of stuff that we didn't go over last week that that's where I got my topic from, but you didn't even look at last week's notes where we didn't get to everything because we were on it for like an hour and we only got to like a couple things. Your whispering is louder than my shushing. Freak Fit Workouts. Right. Freak Fit Workouts. What is Freak Fit? Tell me, I'm just going to shutting up my right. laptop for a second while you just briefly explain what Freak Fit is. Freak Fit is a weekly workout that I run on Zoom live. It's a weekly workout that I run on Zoom live and it uses, it uses equipment some weeks, some weeks is body weight. There's boxing included too. Yeah, it's my own. It's my own business. And also during the Zoom, a workout it's for a, aliens, for, for dogs, for kids. Freak Fit is a weekly workout live for kids. And the Zoom is recorded and later posted on, on YouTube. Yes. And the YouTube channel is called, well, of course, Freak Fit. So, so you, who, do, how do you get that? You do what? Send out a recording? How do you do all that? Yeah, I send out. A, I send out three emails a week. The first one has Just in case. the first one has the two recordings, the speaker view recording and the gallery view recording. Then the second email or the first email also has like a lesson and stuff. The second email is just a reminder, and the third email is also a reminder from an hour before. Which you might not even know. Yeah. Is basically how you run any marketing campaign, any business model for emails. any business. Business I've been doing, not just emails, but. That's the email part of the campaign. Like say we have a six week, a men's six week weight loss challenge coming up. We are not focusing on that right now. And we have a, a six week challenge coming up. We would send out emails telling about the challenge, telling people the challenge. And once people sign up for the challenge, they would get a separate set of emails reminding about them. And then every Monday they, or the day after they would get the recording of it. It's all the same process. So how did you even learn how to do this stuff? From you. But how? I really didn't even teach you. I sort of taught you, but not yeah. even directly. Figuring it out on my own. No, incorrect. Yeah. Incorrect. How did you learn it? You don't know how you learn it. Well, God just came down and told you how to download a thing and go to Zoom no, and how to log in here you, and how to click this and right click that and copy and paste. Yeah, this you, and, you created a video. When? Years ago? Like three, four years ago. So what lesson do we get out of that? To always have your your stuff like always remember saved? Yeah, just save. Document everything you do. Save the stuff you're doing. Because look, I created that system of how to do all the stuff that you do. Autom now you do it automatically. You learned how to do it after after one day. I never even had to even teach you how to do it because we had it in the military we call an SOP, standard operating procedure. It's like how to do this task. And every task Stop. that we have, I'm trying to See if I can get on here. See, I can't get on your own live. That's so stupid. You can't see your own live when you're logged in with yourself. Wait, maybe we could just use mommy's account. How did you do it last time? We didn't. I was going to try and log in the LTD. But how do we, how do, we do the... What about so, the comment that you're supposed to read? I have that. No, I have that screenshot. Oh, I oh. saved that. That's on here. I'm ready with that. But okay. I wanted to be able to actually go in there and see comments and stuff so we could actually interact with people. But we'll figure that out for next week. we got to log into our other account. So the point is, everything you're doing, don't just do it. You're doing dealing stuff with chickens, right? What are you doing with chickens? I am just learning everything I can about them, and I'm figuring out where we're going to put the coop in the backyard, how to take care of them, everything. What about once the coop is up, the chickens are in there, how do you know how to cover them, when to feed them, when the eggs are coming, what to do with the eggs, how to clean the eggs, where do you put the eggs, where do you find the eggs, how often the eggs come? Do you know all that stuff? Yes. Do you... Do you document all that stuff? What if we then have so many, or what if you're out fighting a, on a mission, fighting a battle for a month, and someone else has to deal with the chickens? How would it, would they all just die? 
No, I'm I want to document everything. I'm writing down a lot of stuff in my chicken journal, but... It needs to be organized, saved on Google Drive, like all that other stuff, but also written. That's a good idea to have a printed version also, like a written version, because what if... There's, there's a blackout. There's an EMP while I'm gone. If, if there's an EMP while you're gone, exactly. How are we going to be able to know what to do? If you don't have, you need to have step by step written out so we can then hold at least figure it out while you're until you get back. Or if you're if you need help with it, if you need to do something else, you need help with that because you're working on something else. Like you have to be able to duplicate it. But what could be more important than the chickens? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you're over there in the corner of the property fighting off marauders, holding your post. Oh, yeah. They're gonna come and take over your chickens. Chickens, My chickens. chickens ain't important if they're all chopped up and eaten like little Billy. Well, we're gonna have egg laying chickens, not meat chickens, so they probably wouldn't even taste good and they wouldn't last. Do you think the marauders give a crap? No. I'd eat a chicken. They'll probably. My gosh. Stop laying eggs. Ching! Oh you actually God. have the tool right there. Where? What? Which one? Well, it's not the flashlight. Which? There's like five. Okay, what would you chop a chicken with? Not a flashlight. This Not one. a battery. Well, there's one right there in front of you also. That'll get the job done. Nah, that one. But that'll still get the job done. No. Anyway, all right, what else we got there? My little bar rocks. So the point is, track everything you're doing. Look, I created that system on how to do that for, a, probably did that five, six years ago. And it was a written checklist of exactly how I do that process of it because I was using it for another business in the fitness business and then also use that in the project and I use it now in, a, in coaching business and we'll use it again and all I need to do is then I sent him the checklist and next to the checklist had a link with a video of me recorded on the computer actually doing all that stuff step by step so you have it written out and you have it on the computer and then if you have some questions I don't even think you had any questions on what to do I think it was all there that you just did it all I might have just explained to you ahead of time a brief overview like what you needed to do but we didn't yeah, go into just... the system at all and you just use the recording and the checklist and look, and it gets magically done all the time. And then you use it again, really kind of, because now we're doing this 24 hour fitness challenge coming up on Saturday, 24 hour workout for Save Our Allies, 24 hour fundraiser workout. And he's the one sending emails out to the people who are coming here to join us in person, letting them know where they need to go, what time, how to be prepared about giving them a safety briefing and a checklist of what they need to bring because they're gonna be here live in person for 24 hours with us. That's just for close family or friends. None of you creepers out there in internet are coming over unless I know you. So And you're invited. He, he's but you can't join us to be live on Zoom. He's person. dealing with all that, sending out the Zoom links. Then all the people who donated, he's now going next gonna be creating emails, thanking them all, making sure they have the Zoom link in case they want to join us. The people who donated, there's already close to two we it, haven't pushed it even that much. It's close to two thousand dollars donated already, which it was it's just they're coming in now, so hopefully by as we get closer. My goal is five thousand. Be great to get ten thousand, but we'll see what happens. We're almost at two, little less than two thousand right now on donations, but we're going to keep pushing that. But he's dealing with those, sending those emails out. All these are skills that you learn. Like they, this is the shit they don't really teach you in school that you need to learn in school. This is why this is what we do in home lifing. What we talk about a lot of times in this show every week is is what what we're doing with what at home home lifing. Oh, can't hear the mouse. Mouse, 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 mouse. Because... at home here in home lifing. And what's the name of your school that you go to? EFA, Eckert Freak Academy. Eckert Freak Academy. I don't know if you're ever going to graduate high school. Maybe you will graduate high school. I don't know. If you want to graduate high school, if you want to, you probably will. You I get kinda, a diploma. I kind of want you to, just so we could get a nice diploma printed up, and it says Eckert Freak Academy across. And then... And I, has, I identify as a kid in high school right now. Same. You're both more advanced than the average high school kid. Then I want to get a master's degree. For what? And chickens. And chickens. <laughs> and I want to get one of them. Do you know something like 60 or 70% of people who get a college degree end up not having a career in that job that they went to college for for like four to eight or even more years and then they get a job that's not even related to that field? Like What? I, I might go for the percentage. I know it's a minimum at least 40, but I think it was like up to like 60 maybe, like a high percent. Some At least somewhere plus or minus 50%, around the 50% mark. You think like doctors? Things like that, they might, but I'm sure there's people that go to school for a doctor and then they're like, you know what, fuck that, this shit is too hard, I don't want to do this, they're going to be going to school for the rest of their life and they just stop doing it and then they go pushing shopping carts at Walmart. Always Walmart, man. Walmart. And only pushing the shopping carts. You can't be pushing You can't car. become the manager. 
You have to speak up. This thing is way over here. It's meant to be close, so you're gonna have to just no. You just gotta speak up louder. Oh, uh -uh. because it's a get podcast on. mic. You gotta get it all up in the grill. Yeah, I'm gonna be screaming for you guys now. Well, all right, let's get on to the comment. All right, so let's do this. What's it called? What section are we going we into? We got another hit from the nosebleeds. We got another hit from the nosebleeds. Let me pull up the screenshot. Our hit from the nosebleed section. And just of for your stadium, just for your safety, we've never read any of for these comments. For your safety? How is that for their safety? That doesn't even I don't make know. any. That don't even make any. For your safety, we've damn never sense. read any of these comments. You know, I have them saved. I started find. I only found a. I can't believe I've missed out. Like literally on hundreds and hundreds of comments I haven't saved over the last couple of years, all from the internet of hater comments and I just started now saving them. I wish I would have. I tried to find some. I couldn't even, it would take me so long. It'd be such a waste of time. But from now on, I have to save them. So we are going to read this. We got two. We got a two for one deal for you today. Are you ready? Two for Let's, oh, busy? what were you doing? All right. Wait, is this another one? Oh, three. Oh this is, well, it's two from the same person, but there's another one that's, it is a good one. Let's go! Uh, but then we won't have it for, we need to save some of these. All right, so here's from underscore Preston Bernardi underscore. See, I want to be on here so I can tag the dumbass. Underscore <laughs> Preston Bernardi underscore on, on two different videos. And then other videos that were just like stupid, like quick comments I didn't even uh, copy. But so this is a, a grown up, an adult, an adult male, or at least maybe he associates male. He probably associates as a, a, a dickhead or an asshole, but whatever, whatever he associates with. Don't repeat that. Yes. Whatever he associates with, he... Wait, did I even get the right one? <gasps> so much. The silence is cool. No, there's an extra... I forgot. He responded to the response. Oh my god, we and got I didn't a even lot. get that. I gotta go pull up the other one. I'm gonna have to pull it up real quick on there. We'll have to like close the Instagram for a second because I'm missing the main one. There's so much from underscore Preston Bernardi underscore who has like 100 followers and he follows like 3,000 people because he probably goes around talking shit. This is a grown up adult in this country. This is the average adult person in this country who, whatever. So wait, you're gonna cut out Instagram? Just, no, I'm just gonna pull up these, just gotta oh. find these screens. I had another, I, I forgot that there was, a, there was a response and then a response to the response. So this is just a one on another one. And this was a workout video. Actually, you and me were working out one day. We were lifting. Nice. We're doing cable, cable rows. It's just that's part of the video that we're doing cable rows. It was like a, a bunch of videos together. But the section that you comment on was cable rows. And I'm wearing a yellow tank top. And all it says is, WTF are you wearing? Like, what the fuck are you wearing? Someone has the time to go there on another adult's Instagram and talk shit about the clothes of the cake. Can, 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 can I tell you that my, my feelings are sincerely hurt that... A motherfucker on the internet doesn't like my clothes. <laughs> That's I, sad. I do not think I'm going to be able to sleep at night because underscore Preston Bernardi underscore with 100 followers and following like 3,000 or something. I don't know. The numbers were off. I don't remember what it was. I have to pull it up. Doesn't, didn't like my shirt. I mean, <laughs> maybe if I was in the first or second grade, I might like blink an eye at that for a second and then probably just like, I don't know, throw a chair at him at that point, but now I have a little more control. But doesn't like my shirt. An adult taking their time. Probably and this was in the middle of the day because I did this post in the middle of the day and this was like right after I posted it. So they're sitting there just checking and scrolling the internet in the middle of a work, like a, a, a regular day, a weekday, po commenting on another adult about that they don't like their shirt. Probably just jealous. What y'all think about that? But let's just say it was in... Lame shirt, an ugly shirt. The, the, how do you still have time to go, in, even if it was? What makes the shirt ugly? Even if it was to them, but if it's not to me, I don't give a fuck. Like, do I really care? No. About underscore Preston Bernard. We gotta tag him. Can I go, how can I tag him? I can go on our live and tag him maybe? We should invite underscore Preston Bernard to join us live. We could have a discussion about it. Underscore so then I said, yeah, you're, you're really going places in life. And <laughs> Now you don't like what I wear. I said that because he already commented on the other one that we're going to go into next. This is a second comment on another video. I said, now you don't like what I'm wearing. I'll be sure to dress as approved by an internet tool. Meaning I, I'm really like, I'm going to go change my clothes. I'm going to be so sad and depressed. I'm going to go journal about this. I'm going to go speak to my therapist about this because some tool on the internet didn't like my shirt. All it did is gave us some great content to talk about with the kids about how to deal with haters and how to deal with dumbasses, especially on the internet. 
on the internet, a grown up to another grown up on the internet has time to do this. It was grown. Well, is it gonna be some seven? Uh, well, you look. You can see. You can't. Oh, and it's also always those that do those comments are always private accounts. You can't even go on their account and see any of their stuff. They always also have, they don't have grammar. They usually like, don't have grammar. They, they so they can't. I've had people talk shit to me about not being able to speak English with the most gram grammarly incorrect <laughs> whatever grammar, you want to call it. It's grammar. It's grammar. Gram. Whatever it is. You're like, you two talking hillbilly. So look, no, you can see it. Like when even though you can't open someone's thing, you can see their profile, which is that. So it's a. Grown up, a half of a face showing one eye, driving a car. Look, <laughs> what looking is that? high, looking high. He's devil. Look at that eye. What is up with that eye? It looks like Glenn from The Walking Dead. Like high as fuck. If you if you don't know what that means, then just keep watching the show. Well, it's like season what? Six. Six. When Glenn got his head bashed in. I'm not just ruining it. It was like ten years ago that happened. I oh. saw it when it originally happened. So then he responded, "You have no idea about my life, but yours is on." Effing display, scam artist, it's disgraceful and honestly sad. Over my shirt! I'm a scam artist and disgracefully sad, <laughs> and I have no idea about his life, but mine's on display. Yeah, I'm doing a cable row with my son, you dumbass. <laughs> Underscore Preston Bernardi. What do you all have to say about that? I'm gonna go up here, because I want to. Pull that up. man is a legend. A legend. <laughs> oh, it's like it's, it gets a lot better. That's just warm. I would just use that one to warm you up. It gets better. The comment on the next one gets better, and then I respond to that, and then the response to my response, gold, gold, you are gonna dig it. But I need the response, because I forgot that there was like, this was an ongoing thing, and I only did the first one. So why don't one of you, well first, what do you what do you all think about? Pre underscore Preston Bernardi. Under underscore Preston Bernardi, underscore. If someone could tag that dude, that'd be great. Yeah, tag him? Why? I think that, it, I think that he's just, a hundred percent tool. It's tool. It's a tool, not a tool. Dude, what do you think about his? I don't know. Where, like, I don't. Just his, how do you even think about something like that? Like, I don't understand. Who has? I don't even have the would time. Would you to even as a kid? I'm gonna be like all up in the grill here. Would you even as? It's kind of a cool angle here. Would you even as a kid? You look like his screen. With my thing. shiny head reflecting off of our our camera that lights looks here. That would you as a kid even go on, on the internet on a public, like this is on someone's public thing. Like everyone can see that, right? Yeah, that's just like a comment that anyone can and see. And a lot of times I'll just delete the dumb comments and then block the person and delete it and move on. But once in a while, like, because then we don't have the good content for our show. You guys don't go to public school anymore to deal with the, the tools, tool bags there. So now we just need the internet. So they give us great content to talk about and, and these are great lessons for you. So what, do, what else do you guys think about that? Instagram, you may pause for a second. Let's see if there's any comments on okay, that. Okay, I think wave to all those people. Someone said bad comments equal base basement dwellers. That's what we always say in their grandma's basement with their Star Wars t-shirt and their tidy whities the cheese little stains resting on their man tits. Yep. Can't log into Instagram on your uh, device. I don't know. You can log into Instagram, but if you're on your own account, you can't see your own live video. So I was trying to log in. I have another account for one of our other businesses, but I couldn't log into it on my other account for some reason. I have the time to do that in my day. What's up? Like, I, who honestly like, has the time? I bet he didn't even have the time. He made the time just to go and do I that. bet you it's on his calendar. Put trash comments. Lots of good comments. We gotta have this so we can see these comments while we're going. This is annoying. We're missing a lot of these good comments where we can interact with all the, the awesome people on Instagram. Not, what was the name? Underscore Preston Bernardi underscore. Alright, so this might pause for a second on Instagram just for me to go and find this other screenshot. Give me one second. If you're already on Facebook, that's that's good. Oh. What's the second camera? Just oh, it's actually on that camera. I'm still going. Hmm. Oh, oh sorry, we're on. Right. It's actually on our other recording camera, not on Instagram camera. Oh, it's going to cut out though. The second you leave that app, it's going to cut out. Really? Let me search it up. Yeah, I can't even open up other apps. Crap. Oh, I found it on the internet, on there. Duh. <laughs> I'm, to I'm the tool. Yeah, you're, pre you're underscore Preston Bernardi underscores I'm so dumb, I can find it right here. I'm, I'm logged in on, I am dumb. That maybe they were talking about when they said, can't you just log in on another thing? I am a, sorry, I'm the tool in this instance. All right, what do you got for your next thing while I'm pulling, while right. I'm pulling this up? Why should you never trust stairs? 
I'll be looking for an answer there. I know it was on this one, so we'll find it. Why should you never trust stairs? I should never trust it's stairs. It's an innocent figure out. It is. Case. Something about a case. Case. Staircase. Up. Down. Fall. Trip. Oh, you want something? Up. Down. Fall up them. Down. Fall down them. Fall down. Fuck. No, yeah, we're going off of my time. Am I anywhere near anything? You know, one word was close. Case, stare, they stare at you, they fall down, fall up. How do you fall up? Upstairs, no. downstairs. Okay. Hint, give me a hint. Okay. I failed on the one point, let me go for a point five. Give me a hint. If you say someone's doing something shady, they're. An asshole? <laughs> underscore Preston Bernardi! I got it right, I get a point, I have a point. Was it underscore Preston Bernardi? Shady? No? What is it? No, give me a hint. Give me oh, a hint. Uh, this is for point two five. I don't know. I can't get more you. of a hint. It's... Say the hint again. If someone's shady, they're... If someone's... Stairs are always going... Shush. Down. Up. I don't know. Okay. Why should you never trust stairs? Because they're always up to something. That was hard. That's that wasn't hard figure out I said. That's a pretty hard one. Eh, if I was smart, I could figure out If I was smart. All right. Wait a minute. That was. Wait, it was that video? It was the one. Now I'm freaking confused. I thought it was about the cable row. No, that was the up. Uh, now you were running with all the project guys. That was the one that, what are you wearing or whatever, yeah. Oh, so we have another one? On another video? All right. Oh, well, so, this one before the couple of days. Was this one before the tank top? So this is just me running with a group of a video. You can pull it up on Instagram. I wish so I could put the link. Project. project. Me running with a group of men in the project, and it's talking about and it's talking about not breaking the link. They're linking arms, and the comment that we're talking about in the post, and it's a a, a, a decent post. Everyone needs. It says everyone needs an asshole in me in their life. And it talks about having someone to hold you accountable, someone to keep you in line, someone to call you out on your bullshit, someone that won't tell you just what you want to hear, but what you need to hear, someone that will push you and pressure you and break you out of your self-limiting beliefs, out of your shell, shell and your shackles, someone who'll give you direct, straightforward, candid feedback. And it goes on, I'm not going to read the whole post, you can go in and check it out. So I'm thinking now I screwed up. Because I know Preston Bernardi had another comment, but now the comment I have from this video is something Is it that different. guy? Who's cat? Cameron Steinhardt. Oh, I did have it. Oh my god. What the hell? I'm a fucking tool. Because I had this <laughs> I other heard, one. I forgot. I Cameron, Cameron Steinhardt was the other one. That's why I got confused. We're, it's it's a, just a funny one. You want to hear that one before we go to press? Yes. Wait, Cameron Preston? Steinhardt? Did I say that correctly? Cameron Steinhardt is the next contestant on uh, the nosebleed section. Another hit from the nosebleed. Another hit from the nosebleed. Whoa. Just to do the intro to it. Okay, from another hit from the nosebleed. He said, and this is a different post actually that he was on. Yeah, it's right there. No, it's right this up. Cameron Steinhardt. He oh. said, shit post. Thank you for that feedback. I, I appreciate the direct feedback. He said, shit post. If I were to meet you in person, I would beat your ass for having such a shit post. I would first punch you right in the peener, whatever that is, uh, right in the peener, while you stagger to the ground like a cowardly dipshit, I would gather the attention of any passing bystanders to increase your humiliation. They would likely want to join in, but I will convince everybody to leave it to me. By this time, you will be getting back to your feet, but not for long. After receiving a perfectly executed tomahawk kick across your face, you will be instantly knocked out. While you're un unconscious, everyone, will present, everyone present will migrate to the parking lot to shit on your car. After everyone is done, we will share a laugh at your expense, then disband. Moron. That's what he put. That was... <laughs> oh my god, a tomahawk kick to your face. <laughs> this is why I don't delete them and block them anymore. <laughs> like, you are providing me with pure entertainment. Oh my god. And that person does that, and they look, they spent this whole par look how much of a, a, a paragraph that is. they don't even work out. Probably don't work out. Well, you can't Let's see if we Wait. can see. Cameron Steinhardt. He's wearing some like tight jeans. Wait. You can't see because it was also, like usual, a blocked account. Oh my god. Some kid Who walking with a backpack that? and some skinny jeans. 
But I guarantee it's someone that doesn't make anywhere near the amount of money that they want to be making. Are you, are you, are you busy here? Are you doing something? Back, guarantee they make. The guarantee they're not in the shape they want to be in. That was some good stuff. This is why I don't delete those mother effers anymore because it's gold like Ooh. this. Who has the time to do that in the middle of the day? If someone, if he sees you in public, he's gonna do that. If he sees me in person, I would beat your ass for having such a shit post. <laughs> he would start first, punch me right in the peener. <laughs> And you know what they think after they do this, like, I really showed that guy. I really gave him a piece of my mind from my grandmama's basement with the chains little stains on my freaking tidy whities Oh, God. And meanwhile, I'm sitting here with some kids that can't even comprehend how an adult has that time in their day. That may have been number one. On, on funniness, yeah. But on patheticness, probably not even. So let's yeah. go back to our good old buddy, Preston. Preston Bernardi. Who said, you have no idea about my life, whatever, whatever, whatever. So then, oh my bad, he's, oh my God, it's another post. That was all on the shirt one, all that other stuff from Preston. Then he posted on the one where I'm running with the project graduates, or project during the project, and it's talking about coaching and having a guide and a mentor and why you need that in your life and getting and receiving feedback. Some quality stuff that most men, most humans, especially bitch ass Preston, need to have. We got to tag him. If anyone could tag him, it's underscore Preston, P-R-E-S-T-O-N-B-R-N-A-R-D-I underscore. So underscore Preston Bernardi underscore. That'd be great to tag him in this video. That would just be awesome. And you know what someone like that will do? They'll come and talk shit about kids. They'll even do that. They'll talk shit about kids. About us? Yeah, they will. About They do us? that. That's the type of people that do about that. About us children? They're, they're not that's satisfied with where they are in their life. So, so then after Preston Went on this video, that was on the clothing one. He went on this one and said, You're such a fucking wannabe, bro. A wannabe what? You're, you are such a fucking wannabe, bro. Like, I say a wannabe. So, so I responded to Preston when, when I, when I want to have, a, when I, you know, and, and look, this, this video then, he, all he does, you know, whenever you get comments on your videos, it just boosts your algorithms up. So there's, whatever, 150 likes in this video. I don't know how many. What are algorithms? Views, like the computer system that shows things to people. So I said, haha, okay, bro, yet I'm not the one posting stupid comments on people's shit who are actually out there doing shit. What's that considered? A man critic. A critic that's oh, not stepping in the arena, right? The critic that's talking about the man in the arena. The dude is sitting there. A real there. one? Good book. You should listen or retweet. Dude right. is sitting there on the internet Please. making comments on people who are out there actually doing shit, making an impact and changing people's lives, and they'll talk shit about that because they're they're hating on the shit that they gave up on. That's what they're really doing. Um, I might, I'm guessing he was a mil maybe he was this guy was in the military because he's the next comment. This is this is where it really it gets even even better. This better is this is no, it's just his bro. So he says no, Cameron Steinhardt. That one's just straight the like toolery. He can't beat that. Then Preston underscore Preston Bernardi said, bro, you're just and you're just and old man who didn't get to be a drill instructor. So I'm just an old man. So now he, he doesn't like my shirt. He called me old. I don't know Preston underscore Preston Bernardi, but I would be pr probably safe to say this old man probably is in better shape than you, Preston Bernardi, and probably has a better relationship with their family than you, Preston Bernardi. And you probably don't, don't even know. have a family because you. I don't know about money. Yeah. Money's the least no. not as, as important, but what, I'm guessing like, there's some things going on there too that you have the time to use on the internet. But that's besides the point, bro. You're just an old man. I am. I guess what? I'm. How old am I? Forty-five. I'm forty-five. Guess what? I'm forty-five in the best freaking shape of my life. Guess what? And when he's 46, he'll be... I'll be in better shape. I have another year to get it. So I'm an old man. That, that offends me. You know, that's going to make me just give up and just turn to a shriveled up little raisin. That's what it's going to do. <laughs> right it now, he's me. a grape. Right I was called an old man. I mean, because old men really don't never take days off from training. And old men go on Saturdays with their family and work out for 24 hours straight for military charity fundraisers. That's what old men do, motherfucker. And I bet... Preston Bernardi, I bet you can't keep up, bro. I'll bet you that. Bro. Bet you can't keep up, Preston. Imagine he comments something bad on this live. That'd be great. Oh, he'd be missing it that'd be if someone tagged him. Underscore Preston Bernardi, underscore if someone could tag him, that'd be freaking awesome. 
So after that, that's not it. That's just the first sentence. You started a big scam thinking you're changing lives, but in re reality, you're a scam artist and, a, and fucking boot. Boot means like new in the military, a boot. That's why I'm assuming he's a veteran, which is sad. That's the part that really like kills me and fucking breaks my heart. A lot of these people are veterans who got out and didn't make anything with themselves. So they just go shit and talk people to other people who are veterans that are actually doing stuff and they hate on them because they did nothing with themselves. And it happens all the time. That's like a, a, a fucked a up boot? thing. What is a boot? Like a new person in the military, oh. a beginner. Boot camp, like, like boot. You're just a new, a beginner. I'm so offended that I was a boot. And you think because you yell at, well, first, let's break that one down. You start a big scam thinking you're changing lives, but in reality, you're a scam artist and a fucking boot. Well, I can bet if we took the over 200 graduates in the project, do you think they would feel like that it was a waste of their time and their money joining the project? It's weird that like 50 or 60 of them have a project tattoo on them after coming through the project. That's odd. Because if, you know, if it was a scam and it, 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 it ripped them off from a boot that they would go and get a tattoo. That's odd. And some very, some of them are successful, very successful businessmen, entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. They million, some of them millionaires. Some are active duty military. Some, probably about 10 to 15% are veterans who are actually in the military who now later in life realized they wanted something to light that fire back under their ass and they come through the project. So people talk shit about people going to the project saying, oh, why don't you just join the military? Like 15 to 20% are military, are military veterans. <laughs> Even some high level military veterans. All right, let's continue with Preston Bernardi. You think because you yell at civilians and call them idiots, you're in some sort of David Goggins that people look up to, but in reality, you're just a fucking wannabe trying to live in the past. So, because I yell people and call them idiots, I think I'm David Goggins. So, David Goggins just yells at people and calls them idiots, apparently. That's all no he's... No offense to David Goggins. Yeah, that's all David Goggins is good for. It's all here to yell people and call them idiots. But I think I'm da some sort of David Goggins that people look up to, but in reality, you're just a fucking wannabe trying to live in the past. Is that the last of the comment? No, not done. No, we're not done. I'm a wannabe living in the past. But... He's a wannabe David Goggins. Here's the thing, though. Here's the crazy thing. In the military, I do much harder shit and more impactful shit now after I got in the military. It didn't end there. It got Call, even better. Calling you a boot and talking about living in the past, but yet I'm comparing, you're comparing someone 20 something years after that out of the military, still talking about them, what they did in the military. But I've constantly accomplished it and done shit and gotten better and better and better and in better shape. Preston, Preston. I bet they've never done a single thing. Hey, you don't know anything about his life. Because you yeah, didn't put it on, he doesn't that. put on display. He doesn't put on display, that's what he said. Why do you have to be so mean? Boot. <laughs> Boots. 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 I bet he listens Boots. to that. We should make, we should lock Preston in a, in a room and make him listen to that. For 10 hours. For three days. Every like this video gets, that's how. The funny thing is, and, then, and those guys, hours. and then those guys always say, oh, this is a joke, why don't people just join the military? Those people that do that wouldn't last. The Three hours in the project. He wouldn't last. And not even physically. Mentally. They'd be too weak mentally. They would crumble and break down. They wouldn't be able to control themselves. They'd break down. And then they all say they would, like the other guy, he would just kick my ass for making a dumb post. Everyone, it's, it's funny, everyone on the internet will kick my ass. But then I ran to a guy in the gym today that knew me from the project, knew me from Instagram. It's funny, it was all pure respect. No, he just knew of the project and recognized me from the project and stopped said, us. Said thank you for serving. Stopped us in the gym of actual like nothing but respect. That's odd. The ones that you meet in person is nothing but re respect. He didn't even it's know odd. the guy. That's odd. I'm All right, so person. I'm just a wannabe and call people an idiot like David Goggins. I don't think David Goggins doesn't just run out and call people an idiot. <laughs> I mean, I've never met the dude, but he's done, I've read both books and he's done some pretty cool shit from what I've seen. No diff. I'm not done. No different than a mom. Wearing her old high school letterman, that's like her jacket for like cheerleading or football, to her kids' football games. Not to mention, I already beat, oh, that's the best part. So he's saying that it's no different. So I'm living in the past because, I'm, because I'm in the Marines. So basically, if you were in the Marines, when you get out, you have to just... Be worse. Yeah, just be a loser, disappear, don't be successful, don't be disciplined. Take anything you learn from the military, whether you were in combat or not, and... Just be a loser. Like if you learn discipline in the military, you shouldn't use it because then you're a boot and you're a wannabe and you're living in the past. Or maybe you could use the stuff you learned, right? To build a business and make millions of dollars, but then it's a scam. So but then if you make money, but then if you use the discipline that you got in the military, you're a scam artist. Makes sense, right? I would love to talk about this with you, Preston. That'd be an interesting conversation. 
Yeah, we should. You should invite Preston onto your podcast. Or you can come to the to, to, to PFT. That'd be yeah, great. yeah, that'd be awesome. If you're watching, come Preston to the PFT. The 24 hour workout. Let's see how Preston does with 24 yeah, hours of workout send straight us through. Your email. When there's an 11 year old kid and a 9 year old kid, 8 year old kid. I'm 9. Running next to him, fucking running circles around Preston and he can't keep up. I would love that. would be just awesome. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. We'd only be running circles around But it's him not done. It's not done. Not to mention, I already beat you by egging you into responding. He beat me. This is a win. This is Preston's highlight of his day, his win of his life, a grown adult, speaking to another adult, that he egged me into responding, so he got a win. And he gave us an entire episode of content. Like, thank you, Preston. We appreciate assholes like you. We wouldn't have this. Yes. Standing ovation for Preston Bernardi. Hell yeah. I like it. But it's not done. Not to mention I already beat you, egging you into responding, you fucking... Pogue, P-O-G is a pogue, in the military. And it's funny, I never even heard that term until after I got out of the military. That's the craziest part. Person other than a grunt. Like a grunt that's on the uh, like, mil- like infantry. Yeah. Because I was in the air wing. I was in the air- airfield. Guess what? I got 118 score on my ASVAB. I can't help it. I'm sorry that I'm intelligent. And that's where, they, where I was put. Preston. And I'm sorry that I took the discipline and the energy and the confidence and the ability to take action and of being my freak self. And I took what I learned 25 years ago and I ke- I used it to build businesses, to build a family. Sorry that I did that and you didn't, Preston. But you can join us for workout anytime. No, it's yeah. a training session. Come to the 24-hour PFT. We will give you. I'll pay your a airfare. Time. I'll pay your airfare to come here. What does that mean? It's plane ticket. I'll pay for it. Oh yeah. First class. Yeah. First With the money that I got from scamming these dudes that all got tattoos of the project that you know, ruined their lives, that they don't look up, they don't, you know, bond. Pay for your plane ticket. I will Preston. pay for a first class ticket for you, Preston, to come Let's on out. But the thing is, the, the thing is, I'm going to pick you up from the airport personally, and we're going to blindfold you because there ain't no way you're getting the address of my house, fucking weirdo. But I'll bring you here. You will come to my house and do you do the workout, but I'm going to blindfold you from the airport. Okay? Deal? And I will pay a first class ticket. First class hey, ticket for your company. Up the street. Then I save a shitload of money. Win-win situation. But then he knows where we live. Well, good luck to the one trying to break in here. Ooh. Good yeah, luck. good luck. Oh, yeah. So what we would not be able to show, this show, that we would like to thank our sponsors to this show, to this episode, episode number 29. Nine. We'd like to thank our sponsors this episode. Cameron Steinhardt and underscore Preston Preston Bernardi Bernardi. underscore. We'd like to thank you for sponsoring this show and giving us tons of laughs and fun and things and content and things to talk about. Good stuff. Anything to to ride us home with on the any other things? First, before we leave, I have one more joke. But before we leave, one more standing ovation for the table. Preston and Cameron. Hell yeah. Good stuff, bro. Good stuff, now, bro. You have one joke? Yeah, say it you while I'm going over there. Okay. What do you call a sleeping bull? Or a cow? Got it. Say I it again. got well, I come it. Over here to cut off the cameras. Say what it again. I wasn't listening. I was around. What do you call a sleeping bull? It could also be a cow. Bull or cow. What do you call sleeping bull? Bullshit? No. Sleeping bull. I know it. I got it right away. Because I've seen the show. Dairy, before. milk. Cow, fat, Z. Z. Sleep, Z. Sleep. Say it again one more time, quick, 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 quick. What do you call a sleeping bull? What do you call a sleeping bull? Tired bull. Two, one. I know it. I, I suck know the today. Answer. Jokes. I Last week the... I got everyone, this week I got nothing. I know the answer Give me a hint. Uh, what is it? What is it called when you're. Wadding to sleep. They're doing something. Nodding off to sleep. Drifting. Falling. It's a D. You're something. Drifting. No, not drifting. Drowning. Dying. You're something. It's like an outline sound. Alright, what's the answer? We gotta go. Hold over. Oh man, that's. It's figureoutable. Again, 
If I was smart. I, oh, I if I was smart enough to not be a pogue with, with Preston Bernardi. I should have told you that it's like... Um, All right, we're going to check the comments on there on Instagram in a second, but anything to take them home? No! Excuses! And in case no one told you, very, very normal children can imagine again from in case no one told you today, you are fucking awesome, you are fucking awesome. No excuses. My beautiful plant. Veins. I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits 